Welcome to section three of Bash Camp. Of course, we have to do our kickoff at, or at the beginning of each section with our hashtag, I'm a Bash Camper. I am, I can, I will, I do. This training series is all about you, helping you to become a better and more confident consultant is our goal. We also want to see you host your first Blend Bash or help you to learn more where it becomes part of your regular business plan. We are now in the sales process stages of providing solutions and asking for the booking. This is a critical stage in the process to help you build a successful party plan business. So now we're at section three, which focuses on compelling reasons you may want to add blend bashes to your business plan and compelling reasons why a host would want to book one. So let's get going with our content for this section. There's a lot to cover, so sit back and be ready to absorb. With hundreds of responses, here is all previous Bash Camp surveys, what they have shown, which just affirms what earlier surveys told us and one of the reasons that Blend Bash was born. Besides loving the products and having a chance to earn them for free, the chance to get together with friends socially rates the next highest. The survey results also indicated that 23.3% have hosted DIY type parties and rated the fun factor in being able to take product home the highest. You may also notice that the other category rated the next highest. Those were responses from customers that have never hosted a DIY type party yet. Blendbash responds to all that your surveyed customers are looking for and more. Be sure you're showcasing the short and sweet presentation and the fun guests are having with the fun the guests are having with being out of their chairs, enjoying blending while sharing their life's stories with friends. We know stories attract and they sell. So be sure those are highlights when you're promoting booking a blend bash on your VIP pages or in your social media circles. Remember to take pictures at your parties, especially at the end with the fun themed blend bash sign. Most DIY parties have a pre-purchase requirement. So why would a host decide to have a party that requires that upfront work? And plain and simple, it's because of the results. If someone is gonna to commit to booking, help them get the best results possible. So as you, as you know, increasing attendance is probably one of the greatest allies that you have in terms of the blend bash. And pre-selling those bash boxes is what guarantees those people to attend. So once you get the audience in front of you, the result is going to be higher party sales and more rewards for that host. We know there's more $500 parties with blend bashes, which means that heroes benefits as well. And sometimes people just like to make a difference and may book for that reason, if nothing else. Mingle and Shop, which of course is the party of choice, makes this fun and interactive, and it's no longer a boring sitting on a couch listening to a presentation. We know Bashbox introduces their friends to Pink Zebra before they ever arrive at the party. They can certainly share in the fragrancing before they ever see what you have to offer. There is no need for you as a consultant to arrive an hour before to set up. Now that might be great for you, but it's also great for your host. So when you can show up 20 to 30 minutes in advance and maybe even less if your time is a little tight, that's okay with your host as well. And the bottom line, blend bashes are fun for the host and fun for their guests. Your job is to sell the host on why it works. Don't be shy about it. It's why you're learning here so you can instruct your host with confidence on how to have the best party ever. By asking these simple questions, your host is gonna see the value in pre-selling bash boxes for all the reasons we just talked about. When we talked last week about knowing, or last session about knowing your product, this part of your business is just as important. Know the value you hold with the free products that you give your host through the company's host reward, reward program, which is really enhanced when they follow your recommendations. No host wants to be embarrassed when friends don't show up, and if you can reduce that risk, I believe your hosts are gonna do as you suggest. We know it makes for a better experience for you as a consultant as well, when you have 10 guests that you can now develop a relationship with. It's what allows your business to grow as you have more customers to service, book parties with, have on your team, of course, and get referrals from when you do your job well. Getting every party to 10 is your greatest benefit from holding blend bashes. So when you ask that host if they've ever struggled with friends canceling at the last minute, 
you know the chances are that, he, that their response is going to be a yes. So if you can pre uh, get them into the idea of pre-selling that bash box, that problem is going to be a thing of the past. So let's talk about the blend bash process itself. Your blend bash has a retail value of 260 in the US and 325 in Canada. When you place your order for the blend bash, which should be done when you book the party, you do not pay for it at that time. You have seven days before the original party date to pre-sell those bash boxes. So whether you're doing that two or three weeks in advance is really up to you. When the balance is due on the billing date, which is seven days before your party, you're only gonna be charged for the balance of how many bash boxes you did not or your host did not pre-sell. You'll also then receive one package of three blending bags each for every unsold bash box up to 10. Pink Saber will take care of shipping with your blend bash the additional blending bags without you doing anything. The value in having those bags comes at the party. You want the guests that did pre-buy a bash box to have a different experience than those that didn't. Anyone that did not purchase a bash box before the party only gets the three blending bags for $27 and receives none of the samples, the go-card, and the cool box. So remember the bash box carries no SV. It is only a tool to reduce your out-of-pocket expense on the blend bash and more importantly, to get 10 guests at the party. Plus guests of course are being introduced to Pink Zebra with the samples as we mentioned and the go-card and product card. It's absolutely a better buy, there's no question. They get to blend and take home their sprinkles that night which was a big deal on the survey that was done. And when they place their bash box order, they're offered that option to purchase a simmer pot for $20, which is an $8 savings, and they get free shipping on the entire order in the US only. Most Canadian consultants are pre-ordering the bash boxes in bulk for their guests to be shipped all at once to themselves to reduce that shipping cost. Those guests are paying for that bash box up front. The bash box is what changed the game for all of you, as it serves as a means for you to have no upfront cost when doing a blend bash party, when you engage your hosts and sell them on the idea of pre-selling those bash boxes. By pre-selling all 10, you've covered the cost of the blend bash, you've already earned commission, the party minimum has been established and you haven't even started. Did you ever have parties that were less than 250 before? Well, not anymore. And the chance for more sales is there for you to upsell at the party, book more parties, and certainly have an opportunity to talk to more people about the business when you have 10 eager guests in front of you. The Blend Bash timeline may help you to understand the process more clearly. It is available in your back office under Blend Bash and it's going to be listed on the main page after this section for you to save or to print. We've created two versions, one for the US and one for Canada, which includes specific details for each country because they do differ. So what if the host sells all 10 and still has a few more guests that are interested in coming to the party? Do not sell over 10 bash boxes per blend bash. And why is that? Because again, the bash box carries no SV. So if you sell more of them, you're not really earning SV, which of course you means you don't earn commission. So it's one of the keys to this party that she has a limited number of spots to be guaranteed the chance to blend, blend their sprinkles that night. It's kind of a supply and demand theory. Any additional guests will watch the action and place their orders like before, so they certainly can attend, but then they'll have to wait on their product like a traditional party. Your hope is, as other guests see the fun, that they will want to book their own blend bash and see the value in pre-purchasing the bash box. You want guests to see that those that bought the bash box in advance have the bonus of blending that night. Your host needs to understand that point so that he or she can use it to their advantage when offering it to their guests, that there are only 10 spots available. They can easily say to their friend that they're trying to invite to the party, I know you're going to want to receive this fabulous box with all its extras and be in on the fun of blending and taking home your fragrances from the party. Pre-selling. This is a little simple pre-selling tip. Some consultants are offering an incentive to the first six that do pre-purchase, so they educate their host about that, the first six that they get to pre-purchase that box, uh, bash box, that they will get one of the DIY glimmer candles at the party. For hosts, you can offer the host package, which includes the simmering light, the warming, shade, uh, warming and accent shade, if they sell all 10. So use the extras in the blend bash as incentives. 
We know the advantage to the host, so how about you? First of all, as we said, you have a guaranteed minimum party of 260 in the US and 325 in Canada. You have plenty of opportunity at this party to upsell additional sprinkles and simmer pots and simmering lights and shades and more. So be sure to share why these warming products and shades can offer them many decorating options and chances to fragrance, of course, multiple areas in their home. And use the Blend Bash Prep and Party cards for ideas. With the average party being almost $200 higher than a traditional party, you just earn more. Any of you who have done Blend Bashes would attest to the quick setup time with a Blend Bash. 10 minutes, literally, and you can probably do it unless you're done. Every minute that you don't spend at a host home is a plus. Increasing your hourly rate potential is a great thing. Less time and greater commission accomplishes that. I may even recommend that you set your blend bash up once your guests arrive so that they can actually see literally in five minutes that this party is ready to go. I think it's a great recruiting tool. If a guest or a host or a guest attends your party, don't think that they're not watching what it takes to do what you do. So again, that easier setup makes it more attractive when a business looks simple. And so I believe the Blend Bash will result in a better party for sponsoring. And when you make it look easy, you'll find more people are interested. So if you haven't held Blend Bash parties so far, how do you get started? It's easy, host your own Blend Bash, do everything that you would expect your host to do and book two more Blend Bashes from it and you are in business. So let's review the steps. Step one, you choose your party date, of course, and what theme that you're gonna select from the seven that we have offered. Then you go and set your party up, the Blend Bash party in ZebraNet. Step two, send out the Evites follow up with those personal connections that we talk about to pre-sell those bash boxes. You go through that same process that you expect to host to. Maybe we're gonna suggest that you create a one to one and a half minute video to just showcase the value in bash box. Step three, guests of course start to receive their bash boxes as they're placing their orders and your goal is to pre-sell 10. And lastly, get your sprinkle on. Have the party and book two or more parties and your momentum has begun. So you'll have your party date selected. Now we'll cover the process of actually uh, telling you where to enter the Blend Bash party itself. But there are two resources that you will review later. One is the video, which we're showing here in terms of where to find it. And the other is the PDF document that you can actually print to walk you through the order process. There's also a video on how to set the Blend Bash up at a party if you've not seen it done before. So you begin by selecting the shopping tab in your back office. Next, you'll select Blend Bash Party and then either search for a past host or create a new one. The entire order process now is included following this section by video. I'm not going to take you through the whole process now. You can watch this, the video after this to actually see how the whole process of entering the order is done. So step two is sending out the evites and pre-selling of the bash boxes. When your guests use the party link, they can order their bash box and will be prompted to purchase a simmer pot for just $20. That's $8 off, of course, if they choose to purchase it. They're getting free shipping on the entire order in the U.S., as we said. And again, Canadian consultants normally do this, for, this step for their customers by collecting those pre-orders and entering them, as, entering them as one bulk order. Step three, guests start receiving their bash boxes, which includes the samples and the go card. In the Canadian case, of course, they're gonna be shipping direct to a consultant or to a host. So be sure to remind guests to bring their party supplies box to the party, it's very important. Pre-selling the bash box requires your belief that it's going to work. And if you're not a believer yet, seek out stories from other consultants that have had success with it because they're out there. You need to step into this with confidence that you, all you are helping your host is overcome that pre-selling process. We're going to overcome low attendance, last minute cancellations, lower sales. It's all going to be resolved with pre-selling the bash box. If all 10 did not pre-sell, again, we will ship blending bags along with your blend bash shipment. Now the party happens. Your goal beyond creating sales is to book two parties at every party. You'll create a full calendar, build income, and more bookings and sponsoring opportunities to keep your business growing. So let's talk about why two bookings matter. If you look at this chart on the top half, 
someone's got four parties on their calendar and they booked one at each party they do with postponements or cancellations, which how would blood bash that might not, not even be a factor, you're gonna end up with three parties on your calendar. So then we go into the next few weeks, three calendars or what three bookings, one cancels, two left on your calendar. You've booked only one at each party. So now you've got two parties left. By the time you get to the end of week five, if you did have a 50% cancellation rate there, you're gonna have no parties booked. Now look at the difference. Again, with blend bashes, I think these results would be very different, but look at the difference with four parties on the calendar and booking two every time. So a cancellation happens, you've got three left, you've booked two at those three parties, so now you've got six parties on the books. With six parties, one cancels, there's five left. Two are booked at each, so now you've got 10 parties. You can follow that chart and see by the end of this, there could potentially be 26 parties booked if you in fact booked two at every party you did, starting out with four, versus one with a level of cancellation, what can happen to your business and how quickly it can happen. So what can you say to your guests as you're inviting them? I know these are probably your friends or past customers because this is your own party that maybe they have not been to a blend bash party before, and you may already know how to get them there. But if you don't, if you're not sure, here's a sample script that you can use. So I might call up my friend, hi Anna, I'm having some friends over for a DIY blending party on whatever date that might be, and I would love for you to be there. Do you fragrance your home now? I think it's something you should ask your friend. Awesome, you are. So I've got a new way for you to do that. You are gonna love. Can I send you a quick video so you can see the supply kit that you're gonna wanna buy before the party? So if she's gonna say yes, of course, great. It's only $28 with free shipping in the US. Of course, you're gonna have to change that language slightly for Canada. And it comes with samples and bags that you're gonna fill at the party. And I've only got 10 spots available for those that wanna blend that night. So text me right back after you view this, is that good with you? So I put the text in there, but this certainly I suggest as a phone call as well. So just let me know if I can count you in. Next, you, are you struggling at all with the pre-selling of the bash box before the party? And I have to believe some of you may be, and it's why it, it, you are halting at actually doing blend bashes themselves. So I just wanna encourage you not to be. You've already set the stage with the script. You're using the host planning guide so your guest list is in front of you. Start making those connection calls or sending out your text messages. Send out that short bash box video that we're gonna talk about later and follow back up and ask if they're in so you can write their names in the table of 10 from your host planning guide. It will be so much easier to coach them if future hosts, if you follow this process as well. So when you're hosting your party and you do everything you expect your host to do, it's gonna be much easier for you to explain the process and really let your host know that it works. The thing about pre-selling bash boxes is it's going to get your guests there, which is a great thing when taking the time to plan and host a party. It doesn't do you any good to do that if no one shows up. This is so much easier than the old party way where you invited 40 to 50 guests and hoped that 10 would show up. And most of the time, some of those 10 would cancel an hour before the party. I really believe that is a thing of the past because bash box came on the scene. So the blend bash party of yours is over and now you're ready to book more, hopefully at the party you booked a couple. This is where the surveys that you did pay off as we give you assignment number seven. Reconnect with those that you survey to share results and offer the chance to book a blend bash. It's exactly what the survey results, results told us that the guests wanted. Pull out your contact list that you made and start making your connections. We suggest emailing the results first of the survey and indicate you'll be doing a follow-up call in the next few days, or just make the call, talk about the results, and ask how they would feel about trying one of these new parties. You can include a link directly to the host section on your website in your email so they can learn more. Just go to the host section of your personal website and copy that link. You'll then insert it into the body of your email that your recipient can click on to take them to hosting a party area so they can see the video and other great information about hosting a blend bash.
As you book more par parties, follow the process that you've just used at the party that you did with your newly booked hosts. Use the Blend Bash host coaching checklist, in addition, of course, to that host planning guide we showed earlier, to help you stay connected to your host. If you feel like your host coaching needs a little work, this is a perfect tool to keep you consistent with what you say to every host and what you do to prepare them for every party. They do want to hear from you. You've probably heard me say before that a survey done by the DSA with customers hosting parties was that their consultant, not just PZ people, did not connect with them enough. The more comfortable they are with you, the more confident they will feel inviting their friends to meet you and experience Pink Zebra. Consultants that are doing blend bashes on a regular basis are creating their own excitement with a short video around the pre-buying of a bash box targeted at the guests of the party. We're suggesting as part of your assignments that you create your own bash box video. Now you know the company has one as well, but when a personal message comes from you as the consultant to that host and to her friends, we think it makes a difference. There is a sample video done by Shannon Stewart, who is our number one blend bash seller in this section after you finish this video that you can review. Your video only needs to be one to one and a half minutes long. Remind them of its value and what's included. It gives them the, to the ability to blend at the party to take their fragrances home that evening and that they can take advantage of a great simmer pot deal only offered to those that pre-order the bash box. And you can certainly share your excitement with sharing Pink Zebra products with them when they arrive at the party. So consider doing one more thing. Set up a Facebook event once the date is actually set. Invite those guests that said yes. This is not intended to be a platform for you to just invite anyone that might be on your list. Go live and share your excitement about your host party. And obviously when you're doing your own party, you're doing the same thing. The deadline for ordering the bash boxes and any other personal message that you wanna share. This is really your chance to create a more personal invite, share your excitement about them getting their bash box and how much fun they're gonna have with friends, blending and creating their own personal fragrances at the party. So let's recap this section's assignments. Assignment number six is to take the compelling reason to book quiz, which of course follows this section. Assignment number seven is reconnect with your survey customers that you did in the previous section to share the survey results that we're gonna provide for you and ask about their interest in booking a blend bash. Assignment number eight is to create that bash box video to share with future blend bash hosts. I certainly would recommend again that you complete each of these assignments before going on to section four. So that brings us to the end of section three. Remember, hashtag I'm a bash camper, I am, I can, I will, I do, and I did. This brings section three to a close.